Beck song is called um, All the Things I Love About My Wife. <laughs> um. Okay. I made a forge out of bread. Went fishing in the river, caught a propane. It was a 20 pounder. Picked some pans from the aluminum pan tree, dug around in the riverbank till I found some plaster, and picked some ripe sealant from a bush. Found a Hoswald plant, which grows bread on its roots. Then I sealed those loaves into the pans that I got to keep oxygen out, and then I heated it up really hot to pyrolyze it, which turns the bread <laughs> into closed cell carbon foam, which is extremely okay. insulating, which is great for making a forge. Then I bound that charred bread together uh, with plaster and wire and filled in all the holes. And once it was all sealed up, I capped one end with a hole in it so that I could stick a torch in. And it worked awesome for heating up long, skinny pieces of metal. All right, all right, I, I, I get it. It makes sense. I thought it was messing around at first. She's a Mexican fisherman who goes out and fishes and he catches one fish when he comes mm -hmm. home. The American fisherman goes, why did you only catch one fish? The whole place is full of fish. You're a very good fisherman. You only caught one. Yeah, because I like to just catch one fish so I'm not hungry. Then I like to go and just chill with my family on the beach and drink some wine. The American guy goes, no, no, no. It's not what you do. You need to go out there and catch as many fish as possible because you sell them for profit. And the Mexican guy goes, and then what? He goes, and then when you sell them for profit, you can buy a big boat. And with the big boat, you can catch even more fish and you can have a fleet of boats. And we have a fleet of boats, you can build this huge company, you can put it on the stock exchange. And once you put it on the stock exchange, you can sell it all and you'll be a billionaire. The Mexican guy goes, well, how long will that take? The American says, well, that'll take about 20 years. And the Mexican guy goes, well, after 20 years and I do all these things, then what do I do? And the American guy goes, then you go and sit on the beach with your family and you chill with a bottle of wine. The point is, you go through all that hell to end up exactly where you would have been anyway, just chilling. Dude, dude stayed pretty consistent, man. He's, you know, he's an articulate young man. Um... From what I understand, he's a he's a he's a, you know ex champion kickboxer four times. So you know can't knock the guy. Now as far as his political, oh I don't even want to say political views. Uh, I haven't really heard any political stuff from him. Uh, from him, it's more uh, you know <laughs> he he can come across a bit uh, a bit harsh, but sometimes you know the truth hurts. Howard, Ann, are you more interesting than you look? <laughs> it's all in the mind, eye of the beholder, Ann. What do you do? I'm a uh, business development manager for a large bank in the Northeast. Man, how are you supposed to answer that? He was boring as you look, and then had to go in and explain that his occupation actually is as boring as, uh, as, as he looks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me if there's anything interesting about your job. Absolutely not. No. It, it's interesting to me, but I'm sure that it would probably go right over your head. Nice. Well done. Well done, sir. And you're always very quick, are you, Howard? <laughs> in some <laughs> things, yes. In other things, yeah. That was that was a setup. Take my time, if you know what I mean. There you go. There you go. I've absolutely no idea what you mean. Somehow, I don't doubt that. Mm. <laughs> Clounder. Yeah, she started off on the wrong foot. You know, how was she? How did she expect him to act? You know, he he did he did it with some class too. Mister. Bond. James Bond. 